Hello friends, welcome to the class on engineering drawing. So in this video, we are going to solve the assignment assignment problem. So the problem has been given like this: a hexagonal hexagonal lamina of sides how much? Twenty five mm. Okay, that is the data number one, which is required for us. It is resting on one of its corner on HP. Okay, that is the data number one. What is the second data that is inclination with respect to HP? The lamina makes 45 degree to HP. This is the data with respect to second step. Next, the diagonal passing through the corner on which it rests appears to be inclined at 30 degree to VP. So this is the data number three, which is required to draw the final step. So this is a step by step method. So first we are going to draw a hexagonal lamina of how much of 25 mm. So with the help of compass and scale, take a measurement of 25 mm with 25 mm as radius. I am going to draw a circle. So it must be a thin line. Okay. After drawing the circle like this, so I am going to draw the Di uh, what is this horizontal diameter why because i need one of its corner to the right side since it is resting on one of its corner i write to write in a hexagon in a corner condition i hope you know how to construct the this one if you don't know please refer my previous video okay so this is how I am going to construct the what hexagonal lamina. So I got all the six corners that is A, B, C, D, E and F. So I am going to join this with the dark lines. Okay like this. So just join all the corners. You will get an hexagon of required radius, required sides. So after this, so I am going to draw the xy line, draw the xy line. So what is this next? So I am going to draw the front view of this hexagonal lamina. Okay. So here this corner represents A dash. This one B dash in bracket F dash. So here C dash in bracket E dash. So this corner represents D dash. Here F dash and E dash are invisible corner. Hence it is placed inside the parenthesis. Then this must be dark like this. Okay. So this is the top view and this is the front view we got after drawing the projection until it touches the x y line so this is a vp and this one is hp so what next so you have to mention the dimension also that is very much important my friends so this dimension is how much 25 mm okay so only the hexagon must be dark whereas the circle must be very thin now lamina makes 45 degree to HP. So which is the corner to the right side? D dash. It is resting on one of its corner. This is a D dash. With the help of protractor. Okay, wait, wait, wait a second. Okay, with the help of protractor. With D dash as center. I am going to measure 45 degree then from here I am going to draw a thin line like this after that with the help of compass 
take a measurement from d dash to a dash cut the arc so this one is a dash in the same way d dash to b dash cut the arc and this one finally d dash to c dash so like this we are going to transfer this front view a dash b dash f dash so this one is c dash and e dash so this is inclined at an angle of how much 45 degree so only this must be dark okay so what after this i am going to draw the projection downward from d dash and horizontal projection from d where intersect this will be d in the same way locate c dash and e okay so you have to draw the corresponding horizontal and vertical projections and locate all the corners so this is a c and this one is e in the same way b dash and f dash see this is a f and this one is b in the same way locate the a dash so i have to draw the horizontal and vertical projection like this so this is a a so after this we are going to join with a dark line and like this see the top view must be dark so i have to draw the hexagon like this so what is the step number 3 so the diagonal passing through the corner is inclined appears to be inclined at an angle of 30 degree appears right so which is the corner resting corner there is a d is the resting corner so which is the diagonal passing through this corner that is ad is the diagonal which is passing through the resting corner this diagonal is inclined at an angle of how much 30 degree with any suitable distance i am going to take one reference point from this reference point as a center i am going to measure how much 30 see it is inclined at an angle of 30 degree to vp so after that i am going to draw a line like this okay now i am going to uh, uh first first i am going to enclose this in a box enclose in this in a box as i told the box method we are going to used to transfer this object over there so i'm going to give the reference 1 2 3 and 4 okay so i am need to fix a c ad on this uh, on this 30 degree line because it is inclined at an angle of 30 degree i am going to fix a corner a okay now draw the uh, take a measurement from a to d like this okay a to d cut the arc over here so this is a d so first i am going to draw the reference box so draw the 90 degree line from the corner a as well as from the corner d okay now with the help of compass take the measurement from a to 2 cut the arc so it will be same from d to 3 cut the arc and it will be same from a to 1 okay so cut the arc and it will be same from d to 4 d2 wait a second okay take the measurement from d2 4 and cut the arc so this is 
two, three, and four. See, I got the box. So next, I am going to draw this box with a thin line. So this is a reference box. So this should not be dark. Now, with the help of this, I am going to transfer this. So take the measurement from one to C. It will be same from two. Other uh, is F. Sorry, two to E. So take the measurement from one to C. and also 2 to e okay so this is a corner c and d so now in the same way take the measurement from 4 to b okay take the measurement from 4 to b and cut the arc and it will be similar from 3 to f 3 to f So this is a B and this one is F. See, so the diagonal, which is a diagonal, A B A D is the diagonal, which is inclined at an angle of thirty degree. Why? Because D is the resting corner. The diagonal passing through this corner is A D. Okay. So after this, I am going to join this with a dark line. So join this with a dark line. Okay. So this is a top view, right? So this is a top view. So always draw the the arrow marks so that will be projectors, right? So these are the how we are drawing the projectors. Okay. So at last we need to draw the final. Front view. So draw with the projection from A, a vertical projection upwards, and horizontal projection from A dash. So this will be the corner A dash. In the same way, I'm going to locate the D dash. Okay. In the same way, locate the B dash and F dash. Draw the projection. so this is a b and this one is f see this one is b dash and this one is f dash next draw the horizontal projection from c dash and e dash and draw the vertical projection c and e so this is a c dash and here it is e dash okay so now i am going to join this from d dash to c dash d dash to e dash e dash to f dash f dash to a dash a dash to b dash b dash to c dash And back to D dash. Okay, so these are the arrow marks that you have to mention. This is the projections we are drawn upwards, vertical projections. Okay, so this is the final front view. This is the final top view, which satisfies all these three conditions. I hope you understood. Thank you. Namaste.